Well, hi YouTube, it's Michael. You haven't heard from me in a, in a while. Um, but this has a reason, of course. Um, I was in the process of doing this PCB, which actually is uh, a development board, say, let's call it a starter board for the ATX Mega 128A1, which is a, a new microcontroller family uh, from Atmel. This is the MCU, and uh, I did this uh, in a in an open process with uh, help from a few people. Uh, well, actually, it was it was mainly one. <laughs> you can see it here. His name is Oliver. Um, well, it's I think it's a quite neat board. We really I really invested a lot of work in it, and Oliver did. And uh, this is, well, at least the result uh, at which I will freeze the design now. Um, it has a, a lot of cool features, I think. It has infrared, it has a micro SD card, it has a freely controllable, uh, controllable RGB LED, it has a, a, well, a little amplifier for the digital analog converter, it has an external SD RAM with 16 megabyte, which is very very hard to get. We're still struggling with that because it's a 4 bit RAM. That's very hard to get. It has, of course, so to say, it's almost standard on my boards now. USB. Uh, well, uh, a rotary encoder. A number of LEDs, of course. That's the trivial stuff about it. That's what you would expect from every board. Well, infrared uh, receiver and transmitter. Well, all right, that's about it. I mean, uh, that's a that's a quite sophisticated board now. It's a, a six mil board, so I, obviously I can't do this at home. And so obviously I have to use uh, well a certain manufacturer around here. Well. For everyone who's watching this and says, wow, that's, this is not bad, this is just what I was looking for, for say 12 bucks, <laughs> um, I'm doing a collect order right now, meaning that uh, people can write me an email if they want such a board, and for 12 bucks, and they offer a few, few parts, the, one, the ones which are hard to get, the MCU, the SD-ROM, and I'm also offering this 3.3 volt TSOP module and this micro SD slot for a few bucks. Uh, it comes about, um, well, it's 30 bucks altogether. Well, that's about it. Um, yeah, and people can write me an email to linuxgeek at freenet.de. Well, I'm not stupid by telling you this email because uh, it has a very aggressive spam filter and this is, it was already spammed, so don't think I'm stupid. It's just a mail I could give to anybody. So this is what I'm using here. You could write me an email. As long as you are from Germany or, say, a closer European country, then we can do this. It's uh, three euros of shipping. And we can talk about this. Well, for the people who know what I'm talking about, it's, it's this or that. Just hold the video, enter this. Well... Don't enter this number, just uh, just the topic without this subtopic number here, and this is the thread. So there is a lot of information. We did this in, an, in a very, very open-minded and very uh, uh, way. It's, it's almost about, it's, it's 800 posts by now with everything. And uh, everyone who orders the chipboard from me uh, will get added to a, um, well, email list. Uh, email distributor um, and uh, well get more information and can also communicate with everyone else who ordered so just uh, I'll probably keep it open for one or two more days no longer and uh, if there is somebody who really wants it right now then I mean there's only this 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 one board from Atmel this explain kit but it's not it's not for sale the, the everything you can get is this very expensive SDK 600, um, but you'd need um, you will need a fitting top module and a routing card kit 
which is also very expensive, about 300 bucks all in all, around here at least, euros, I mean. This is uh, the Admiral Mobile, it's, yeah, obviously it's a very great board, but um, it still has, a, well, a few, uh, well, issues, I suppose, firmware issues, I stumbled on them. I didn't even have time to really appreciate the board right now because I, I was so, so loaded with work, so I cannot even do anything with it right now. I just checked out whether it is working at all and modding this card and stuff, and, and that's what I did so far. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I don't want this video to get too long, and we'll see you soon.